before the foul is made. But that's how you get it done, sealing the deal defensively, contesting the shot, trying to stay active because you're undersized, don't settle, don't give up anything, and then off to the races. Guys running like they just rob something from the local store, Whoa. and then get the basketball and finish. 8-4, Nets leading the fast break category here in the second quarter. Nets trailing 38-35, shot clock is winding down. Jefferson, the drive, left hand, knocked outside, Boone, they're not going to get a shot off. 24 second violation, and the second time that's been called against the Nets, running out of time. And you got to force them to play defense, don't try to be too creative or too smart, get the basketball in the right hands, and then make this Heat team play defense. Ninth net turnover, Kidd now draws the assignment on Wade. Carter is guarding the rookie out of Ohio State, Daquan Cook. Shaq wants it against Boone. Eight to shoot. They'll feed the post. O'Neal turns and banks it in. And you tell there's certain nights where Shaq says, hey, get me the ball and I will do the rest. I remember playing against him with Indiana. Before the jump ball, he'll look and say, your big man is in trouble tonight. And he did not lie. Seven points for O'Neal. There's Carter, one-on-one -on -one with Wade, gets around him, help from Shaq, Boone on a kick out, Jefferson open, look, air ball for three, and another shot clock violation. Preferred. You know, Vince Carter just made the play for Josh Boone. You catch the ball underneath as a big guy, put everybody on your back. Don't throw the ball out to Richard Jefferson. The job is done. The ball has penetrated, and you are underneath the hoop. Take everybody to the basket and finish. Miami 40, Nets 35. The Heat with a chance to take their largest lead of the night. And no secret, they're going to get the basketball of Shaquille O'Neal again. Kid able to swipe it from behind and knocks it out of bounds. 13 to shoot. Well, this Miami team has dropped three of its last four, eight of their last 11. Right the trigger man for Cook. Eight to shoot. Wade against Kidd. High screen, O'Neal. Wade up top. Has one. Down hard. It's an 8-0 run. And Pat Riley called that play. He said 13 seconds on the clock. Run a one up. Isolation for Wade, and he makes the play. Carter gets a step on Wade. Wade gets a piece on the defensive end. And saved by Cook. 42-35. Heat. Wade off penetration. Haslam buries it. 22nd timeout called by Lawrence Frank. And Miami has opened up a nine-point cushion. And what a great play is supposed to do, make everybody around you better. Dwayne Wade is doing that. Breaks down the defense of the Nets, forces help to come, delivers the ball to Haslam at the rim. He does the rest. Spectacular job of reading the defense, forcing the issue, and then playing unselfish basketball, getting everybody involved. And then, don't five Nets in the paint area, does a great job of not forcing it, get the ball to the open man, and trust that he's going to make the right decision. Haslam with the open jumper. So Miami turning it on here in the second quarter. And it's not just Wade scoring, it's Wade getting others involved. Stay tuned, Heineken at the half. Michelle Beadle back in the Yes Network studios. First half highlights, leading scores, and the Nets sounds of the week. All coming up on Heineken at the half. And I said it, Bert, the guy is the best in basketball at deciding when to score and when to be a facilitator. Does a great job of reading. After the timeout, kid, open look, Jefferson, and it rims in. He was able to stroke it over right. 44-37, Jefferson with 14 is the high man for the Nets. Carter with 11, Allen with 10. Three players in double figures for Miami as well with Wade, Wright, and Haslam. 
Here's Wade bumping bodies. Carter comes over to help. That means Cook is open. The rookie. Rainbow delivery. Kid with the board. Boone running the floor. Catch. And rejected. How about the 